William V, Prince of Orange, Willem Badevis, the 8th of March 1748 to the 9th of April 1806, was the last stadtholder of the Dutch Republic. He went into exile to London in 1795. He was the reigning Prince of Nassau Orange until his death in 1806. In that capacity, he was succeeded by his son William. Topic: Early life. William Batavis was born in The Hague on 8 March 1748, the only son of William IV, who had the year before been restored as Stadtholder of the United Provinces. He was only three years old when his father died in 1751, and a long regency began. His regents were Dowager Princess Anne, his mother, from 1751 to her death in 1759, Dowager Princess Marie Louise, his grandmother, from 1759 to her death in 1765. Duke Louis Ernest of Brunswick Luneburg, from 1759 to 1766, and kept on as a privy councillor, in accordance with the ACTE van Consulentschap, until October 1784. Princess Carolina, his sister, who at the time was an adult aged 22, while he was still a minor at 17, from 1765 to William's majority in 1766, William was made the 568th Knight of the Order of the Garter in 1752. <laughs> Stadtholder William V assumed the position of Stadtholder and Captain General of the Dutch State's Army on his majority in 1766. However, he allowed the Duke of Brunswick to retain a large influence on the government with the secret ACTE van Consulentschap. On 4 October 1767 in Berlin, Prince William married Princess Wilhelmina of Prussia, the daughter of Augustus William of Prussia, niece of Frederick the Great and a cousin of George III. He himself was George III's first cousin. He became an art collector and in 1774 his Galerij Prins Willem V was opened to the public. The position of the Dutch during the American War of Independence was one of neutrality. William V, leading the pro-British faction within the government, blocked attempts by pro-American independence, and later pro-French, elements to drag the government to war in support of the Franco-American alliance. However, things came to a head with the Dutch attempt to join the Russian-led League of Armed Neutrality, leading to the outbreak of the Fourth Anglo-Dutch War in 1780. In spite of the fact that Britain was engaged in fighting on several fronts, the war went badly for the poorly prepared Dutch, leading to the loss of St. Eustatius and Nagapatinum. Scandals like the Brest Affair undermined belief in the Dutch Navy. The Stadtholderian regime and the Duke of Brunswick were suspected of treason in the matter of the loss of the barrier fortresses. The deterioration of the prestige of the regime made minds ripe for agitation for political reform, like the pamphlet On het Volk van Nederland, published in 1781 by Joan van der Capellen tot den Pol. After the signing of the Treaty of Paris, 1783, there was growing restlessness in the United Provinces with William's rule. A coalition of old Dutch states party regenten and Democrats, called Patriots, was challenging his authority more and more. In 1785 William left The Hague and removed his court to Het Lu Palace in Gelderland, a province remote from the political centre. In September 1786 he sent state's army troops to Haddam and Elberg to overthrow the city's Patriot Roadschap, despite the defence by Patriot Free Corps, organised by Herman Willem Dandels. This provoked the Patriot-dominated states of Holland to deprive him of his office of Captain General of the state's army. In June 1787 his energetic wife Wilhelmina tried to travel to The Hague to foment an Orangist rising in that city. Outside Schoenhoven, she was stopped by Free Corps, taken to a farm near Gojanverwellesluis and after a short detention made to return to Nijmegen, to Wilhelmina and her brother, Frederick William II of Prussia, this was both an insult and an excuse to intervene militarily. Frederick launched the Prussian invasion of Holland in September 1787 to suppress the Patriots. Many patriots fled to the north of France, around saint Omer, in an area where Dutch was spoken. Until his overthrow they were supported by King Louis XVI of France. <inaudible> <inaudible> Exile in Great Britain and Ireland William V joined the First Coalition against Republican France in 1793 with the coming of the French Revolution. 
His troops fought bravely in the Flanders campaign, but in 1794 the military situation deteriorated and the Dutch Republic was threatened by invading armies. The year 1795 was a disastrous one for the ancient regime of the Netherlands. Supported by the French army, the revolutionaries returned from Paris to fight in the Netherlands, and in 1795 William V went into exile in England. A few days later the Batavian Revolution occurred, and the Dutch Republic was replaced with the Batavian Republic. Directly after his arrival in England, the prince wrote a number of letters known as the Q Letters from his new residence in Kew to the governors of the Dutch colonies, instructing them to hand over their colonies to the British, for safe keeping. Though only a number complied, this contributed to their confusion and demoralisation. Almost all Dutch colonies were in the course of time occupied by the British, who in the end returned most, but not all South Africa and Ceylon, first at the Treaty of Amiens and later with the Convention of London 1814. In 1799 the hereditary prince took an active part in the Anglo-Russian invasion of Holland, engineering the capture of a Batavian naval squadron in the V leader incident. The surrender of the ships that had been paid for by the Batavian Republic was formally accepted in the name of William V as Stadtholder, who was later allowed to sell them to the Royal Navy for an appreciable amount. But that was his only success, as the troops suffered from choleric diseases, and civilians at that time were unwilling to reinstate the old regime. The arrogance of the tone in his proclamation, demanding the restoration of the Stadtholderate, may not have been helpful, according to Simon Schama, after the Peace of Amiens in 1802, in which Great Britain recognized the Batavian Republic, an additional Franco-Prussian convention of 23 May 1802 declared that the House of Orange would be ceded in perpetuity the domains of Dortmund, Weingarten, Fulda and Corvey in lieu of its Dutch estates and revenues this became the Principality of Nassau Orange Fulda. As far as Napoleon was concerned, this session was conditional on the liquidation of the Stadtholderate and other hereditary offices of the prince. William V, however had no interest in towns, territories and abbeys confiscated from other rulers, but wanted what was his due, his arrears in salaries and other financial perquisites since 1795, or a lump sum of four million guilders. The foreign minister of the Batavian Republic, Martin van der Goes, was willing to secretly try to persuade the Staatsbewind of the Batavian Republic to grant this additional indemnity, but Napoleon put a stop to it, when he got wind of the affair, the last of the Dutch Stadtholders, William V died in exile at his daughter's palace in Brunswick, now in Germany. His body was moved to the Dutch royal family crypt in the New Kirk in Delft on 29 April 1958. In 1813, his son, King William I returned to the Netherlands and became the first Dutch monarch from the House of Orange. Issue William V and Wilhelmina of Prussia were parents to five children. An unnamed son 23-24 March 1769. Frederica Louise Wilhelmina, The Hague, the 28th of November 1770, The Hague, the 15th of October 1819, married in The Hague on the 14th of October 1790, Karl, hereditary Prince of Braunschweig, London, the 8th of February 1766, Antoinette the 20th of September 1806, a son of Karl Wilhelm Ferdinand, Duke of Brunswick Luneburg and Princess Augusta of Great Britain, without issue. An unnamed son, born and deceased on the 6th of August 1771. William I, King of the Netherlands, the 25th of August 1772 to the 12th of December 1843. Willem Georg Frederick, Prince of Orange Nassau, The Hague, the 15th of February 1774, Padua, the 6th of January 1799, unmarried and without legitimate issue. Ancestry Appreciation During his life and afterwards William V was a controversial person, in himself, and because he was the unwilling centre of a political firestorm that others had caused. Many historians and contemporaries have written short appreciations of him that were often acerbic. Philip Charles, Count of Alvinsleben, who was Prussian envoy to The Hague from 1787 so not someone who must be suspected to be prejudiced against William may be taken as an example. He wrote, 
His great-great-granddaughter Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands was less kind. She simply called him a suffered dotard. Topic: <laughs> Legacy. Orange County, North Carolina was named for William V of Orange. Orange County, Indiana was named after the North Carolina county. The Orange River, the longest river in South Africa was named in honor of William V of Orange. See also House of Orange Nassau